Hey my beautiful friends, thanks so much for tuning in. So today I just want to show you really quick what I'm doing for my preschooler. I am doing letter of the week with him and I'm keeping it super simple you guys because this mama has a newborn and I'm just trying to get adjusted to the new changes with my newborn. It's always unpredictable. So I just wanted to keep it simple and I wanted to show you the spreadsheets or the worksheets <laughs> that I'm using, not the spreadsheets, the worksheets that I'm using I used a lot of these for Jonah when I was doing his letter of the week. And uh, so, yeah, and some of the books that I'm using. So I just want to show you his setup and how simple I'm using it or doing it. And, uh, yeah, so let's see. Okay, so this is his little basket that I have set up. I'm actually setting up letters G, H, and I right now. So letter G is right here. I'm going to show you his schedule. This is his little schedule. just pretty much taped the back, back there. Nothing fancy. <laughs> just to keep me on track. So we do for day one alphabet dot to dot sheets. I have a pattern pattern blocks sheet. And I also have a letter hunt. I'm going to show you where I got all these in a minute. They're all here. And then we also do an interactive notebook that I do with him for the letter of the week. Then for day two, we have Play-Doh mats, tracing, stamp sheet, interactive notebook. Then for day three, we have a mini book, dot to dot, find it sheet, uh, alphabet blocks, and or alphabet book, sorry. And then I have a notebook, interactive notebook again. The interactive, interactive notebook is actually for the whole week, so that's why we do like one sheet per day and so forth. And then for day four, I have an activity that I do for the letter of the week, um, ABC Mouse videos and songs. I also have a read, um, like a book that I take out. Uh, from our library that goes with the letter um, that we're doing and then we also finish our interactive notebook I also do extra sheets that I throw in depending on um, how's, uh, How fast we get done or if he's interested to do more I do have extra sheets that I like to do with him. So let me just show you G right now. I'm almost done setting up G um, So this is for the interactive notebook. This is from uh, Shelf work. She's actually um Jaddy A or JD A from YouTube here. I'll link it down below if I can. And uh, she has, I had bought this from her TPT store when I was doing it with Jonah, and I just reprinted it again for JD. Uh, this here is a, oh, this is the Play Doh mat. Yes, okay. So this is the Play Doh mat. I don't remember where I got this from. Oh my lord, I cannot remember. If I do, I'm going to link it down below. But this is the Play Doh mat. So I just kind of laminated them and I just put them front and back so I don't have to have so many. So I did that. That's the letter G. This is the um, Trace It sheet. And this is from a Kuman book that I have that I just pretty much rip out the pages so he can do it. Then this is the Pattern Black one. This is from, these two right here are from the Waldock Way um, in her alphabet pack. I'm going to link it down below. He loves this. He actually did this last year and we're doing it again this year and he loves it. So he loves the stamp it sheet. Let me show you what I use for those, by the way. I use these. Sorry, trying to get it. I use these from IKEA. So they're like little stamps that actually have like a little sign uh, design. So that's why he loves doing it because I have a few of these and he just likes to stamp them. So stamp the sheets. You could also do those uh, with a hole puncher. This is actually how she set it up. Uh, she calls them hole punch uh, letters or hole punch sheets. <laughs> And this is the pattern black one for letter G, also from the Walt Way. And then her um, dot to dot sheet here for the markers. So he loves to do that. This is actually backwards. That's G. And then this is one of those extra sheets that I print out. And um, I got this from the Measured Mom. Yes, I love this um, website for free printouts. So this is a fun one that he does. And I kind of throw it in in whatever day I feel like he can handle it. And it's um, coloring the picture that has the letter G sound. It's super cute. And then this is from, this is the letter hunt. This is from Confessions of a Homeschooler. Uh, this worksheet, I used it for Jonah. And I just put him in these uh, sleeves so that JJ can use it with his little dry erase marker. And then I'll continue to use it for Jace. So let me just get the rest of the stuff which I actually left this over there. This one, this is that little mini book that's in his schedule and this is from the Measured Mom as well. Love it, it just has little pictures with uh, that begin with the letter G. He loves this. And then I also have this one for Confessions of a Homeschooler. This is another sheet that I throw in in any day that I feel that he can handle it. And it's letter Maze, find the G, and it's actually just um, teaching him how to like find his way 
through the maze, um, going uh, looking for a capital G and, and lo lowercase g. He loves this one too. He usually he does mess up, but then he gets back in track, which I totally let him do. So those are some of the ones that I got. I still have to print a another one, another Dr. Dot that I have to print. And as soon as I print it, I'll show it to you here. Look for letter G. We're gonna read Good Night Gorilla. He loves when I read to him, so I kind of pick whatever day works best for me to read to him and it could also be at the end of the letter of the week or like usually on Thursdays so I'll read this for him let me put that there and this is another book that I read that I just show him this is an alphabetics I've had this for a couple of years and I found it at the library I think it was super for like 25 cents such a cute book and it's basically um it shows you the letter becoming into something that sounds that has the first sound uh so the way I read it for them is B B B B B A or balloon. <laughs> so B B B B balloon. That's kind of how I read it to them, which is a uh, F. So I said F F F fish. So he loves it. And now we're gonna do giraffe. So he's gonna be excited about that. Then we'll do H for house. See how it turns into the the picture. It's so cute and the insect. He'll love the insect one. So yeah. This is something that I've had and I love to use it with them and they love to see the letter change into something that starts with um, the sound. So this is for H and I. I have to put it all together and put it in my little basket. The other thing that I use or that I have to make it easy for me is a little pouch here. I have his little, um, everything that he needs to do uh, his letter of the week. So his little dry erase markers are here, his little um, eraser. His um, glue and uh, scissors and pencils, they're all here. And this is all he needs to get all his little work done. So it's perfect to have it all there. I have uh, his uh, schedule here. And this, I do the planning um, for the three weeks so that I have it done for three weeks, which is great. So every three weeks I plan all this uh, all over again. Okay, and the activity that I do is to uh, create a fun picture with that letter. So this is F as in uh, fish. And so we're gonna make a fish out of an F, which is so super cute. Let me show you what he's done so far. Okay, so so far we did A for alligator, B for a bunny who's falling apart. <laughs> J.O. did a C for crab for him. He wanted to, a crab cupcake, so cute. Um, we did C for caterpillar, and I did D for dinosaur, E for elephant, super cute. I get all these ideas from Pinterest, you guys, and I just put it together my own way. Um, I make it nice and simple. I had a cutter for those little circles. I just cut all these out from paper and I just make sure I have it set up for him. So this is definitely something that is super simple that you can do on your own and just get all the like ideas from Pinterest and then just cut it your own way uh, from like construction paper or just regular colorful paper. I also have this um, storage box that I keep all his printouts here. And just extra things that I might want to use for him to entertain him. And I also use this book once in a while. This is another book that I have from Scholastic. It's called The Alpha Tales. I've shared this before. 26 read aloud stories that teach each letter of the alphabet. Super cute. Let me just show you inside a little bit. <laughs> and it gives you like rhyming um, or just uh, like ideas on how to uh, go about teaching him the letter. And then it also ends up with a cheer, which is super fun. The cheer is so cute. I love doing this. So a very cute book. Um, I also have, so yeah, I have this too that I do with him, but I do this very, let me show you. This is um, a binder that I want to do with him, a daily binder, but right now we're not doing weather. Um, once in a while I'll do a song or just, the alphabet song um he knows all his colors we do the um days of the week with the song as well and then i just go over the month of the year um he doesn't need to count this he knows how to count we have not started to do um the reading corner yet um i'm hoping that i can get this started somehow i'm just trying to keep it simple right now with the letter of the week but i think i might leave this for um after december we'll see um, but I do want to incorporate some reading corner. So this is what I do with him also to throw it in, uh, to throw in some um, extra uh, practice. This is from Confessions of a Homeschooler. He likes to do this, actually. I give him the dry eraser and he likes to color everything with the dry eraser. He, I don't know why, but he loves it. 
and then he just writes it up here he writes it down here um, and then I just kind of change up the number and the shape and we get to do it depending on the time we'll do it the same day or another day or we just do it the following week this is not something that I do all, um, all, you know, every week but definitely this sheet right here um, he just loves it so I'm going to change it now for G which we're going to start on Tuesday and yep yeah. Um, so yeah, so you guys, I hope you enjoyed watching what I do for JJ. Keep it nice and simple. I rotate um, the schedule. Sometimes I do day three in the beginning of the week or I kind of rotate the sheets too. I don't always keep it this way. This is just a guide for me. But let's say we're doing day one. I do the alphabet dot 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 and then I'll do the alphabet book. You know, like I'll, I'll just kind of rotate so that it could be different for him he we don't get into this like monotonous schedule but he loves it so far um once in a while i'll do throw in these uh sheets let me show you now so once in a while i'll throw like something different let me see if i can find something to get up. Uh, this is the dot to dot letter that i have to print out by the way in case i forget to show you um and this one i get from teaching it's called teaching rick richard cheery i don't know, i have no idea how to say that but this is so cute, and I have it also on um, my Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, let's see. One of the sheets that I use, something like this. See, this one, I try to throw in a different worksheet so he can uh, have, like, a change in pace. But this is a picture sort. I get a lot of these printouts from Teachers Pay Teachers super free or online from any other website. So many websites have free printouts, like the Measured Mom or the Confessions of a Homeschooler. So I just go in there to get something just different for him to do for that letter of the week. So that's it, you guys. I just wanted to show you how simple I'm keeping it this year for a little week. He's enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, too. Um, it's just perfect. I only take about 20 minutes to do this with him. And uh, I do it right before we start our independent work with the other boys. So it's the perfect time. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. I'm going to try to link all these things down below or most of them in case you want to get them for your kiddos and um, leave me a comment down below letting me know if you use any of these or if this was helpful and i hope to see you in the next video